like when I woke up. <laughs> um, today I'm gonna do, oh my name is Grace from Grace Does Glitter and today I'm gonna do a lazy Sunday get ready with me. So I had already put on the Beauty of Josie on sunscreen which I am now done with and then I put on the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer plus niacinamide. I really only have this particular version of it because it is pink and um, that is the reason I bought it but it's actually a very good sticky primer. Um, and I'm definitely using this on all of the days when I need my makeup to last a long time. It's It's been really great, like the stickiness of it. What does it do with that? It's just sticky primer. <laughs> so then I use the House Labs foundation. I think I have the shade 100 light neutral, if I'm remembering correctly. And I'm using a sponge to apply this. I typically go in with that sort of spatula technique. Um, but I used a sponge today just because I was like, ah, I want to shake it up, you know, shake things up just a little bit. And then for the concealer, I've been mixing the KVD Good Apple Lightweight Concealer, I think is what it's called, and the Makeup Forever Self Setting Concealer, and this has been a really perfect shade match for me. Um, I've been using this even on days when I'm not wearing foundation. Uh, it just seems to like blend really nicely um, and stay in place for most of the day. Then I took this uh, tissue and I wiped all the foundation out of my eyebrows because sometimes things get eaten up by my eyebrows and they get stuck in there and it makes my eyebrows look weird so I just took that out and here's what the skin is looking like. Um, I feel like my skin is recovering now. I was having a bit about of um, bad skin or you know just less than good skin days for me. Now I'm using the Jason Wu Hot Fluff in Biscotti as bronzer. This was the first day I had done this. I was like, oh, let me just pull this back out. I haven't used it in a while. And I've kind of used it every single day ever since in that same way of like putting it on the back of my hand and then putting it on. And I feel like that's a really foolproof way of applying um, cream bronzer. Um, Cause I'm a fool and I'm terrible at applying bronzer. Then I used the Patrick Ta She's That Girl blush. Um, this day I was going for like a pink, purple, lavendery, springy look. Um, spring is sprunging here. Well, not really. It's actually, I see April showers outside my window right now as I'm like recording the voiceover. But then I primed my eyes and I'm using this Too Faced, I think it's called Better Than Chocolate palette. Um, and this was sent to me by Ipsy and BoxyCharm. Uh, they've teamed up now. I don't know if they're like merging or I'm guessing they are merging. Um, but they sent this to me as part of the sort of creator incubator project that they're doing. Um, and I'm really enjoying this. I typically don't buy eyeshadow from Sephora. Like I will buy it from an indie brand because I just think that they're better. Um, but the mattes in this palette were really nice. I have to say in terms of shimmers, uh, I still think that indie brands do those so much better. Like, um, for this look, I'm going to use the, the shimmery purple in this palette, and I really wanted it to be like this pow pow in your face lavender color, and it's just not, as you can see from my finger right there. And as we all know, if you put eyeshadow on with your finger, it should be a lot more pigmented than when you put it on with a brush. It just like, you know, you just get more on your finger and can make be like concentrate it, and I really wasn't seeing any sort of payoff like the payoff that I would expect from a palette that costs this much money. Um, so I was a little frustrated with that and you can kind of see, I'm like, eh, this is whatever. Um, and it was whatever. So then I used the, the deeper matte shades in that palette and I used them as eyeliner. Um, I like to do this with most of my eyeshadow looks. And then for mascara, I used the Dime Beauty Volume Mascara. This I also received in an Ipsy box. I almost never buy mascaras because I get them all from Ipsy and most of them are great. I'm not very picky when it comes to mascara. Now I'm setting um, the middle of my face with the uh, number seven powder and putting on fake freckles. These are Revlon. Um, this is the Revlon, <laughs> what is it called? Brow ink and blonde ink. I've, I've said this a million times. It costs like $16 at my CVS and $8.99 on Amazon and I really don't understand the price disparity there and I'm actually really peeved peeved about it. Um, so now I'm putting on the Ciate Dewy Highlight 
Uh, this I also got a little sample size of in some sort of box or in PR. And it's nice, it reminds me a lot of the Vive Skin Dew that I love so much, except it's a little less dewy. Uh, through my brows, I used the e.l.f. Wow Brow, I think is what it's called, the, you know, the sort of dupe for the Anastasia Bat Brow Freeze, and it's fine. I'm not really picky with brow products either, they just need to hold my brows in place. For lip gloss, I used the CoverGirl Yummy, Yummy Gloss or something like that, and I think it's called Sugar Poppy. Um, and then I topped it with Sephora lipstick and I think it's called Girl Crush. I'm doing all of this off the top of my head and I'm actually kind of proud of myself. Um, my recommendation is if you feel like your lipstick is a little too full on and you just wanted like a sheer wash of lipstick, try putting it on top of a gloss. Um, it works really well and it's better than like putting eyeshadow in your lip gloss to make it look, I don't know, I've seen that going around the internet and I'm like, yeah, not for me. Um, but this is how the look ended up. I actually really enjoyed wearing this. Um, it looked really nice and I thought that the skin looked particularly good for high coverage. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please um, like, subscribe, comment, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.